What's up YouTubers, Josh here with ATX Guitar Lessons. This is going to be a lesson on triads. We're gonna discuss what they are, uh, how they fit on the guitar, and this is also going to help you understand how to switch from a major chord to a minor chord, to a diminished chord, or to an augmented chord. So we're gonna use three strings to illustrate the concept. Uh, but the same thing applies when you're playing, <clears throat> excuse me, um, a five string chord, a six string chord, a four string chord. You just have to know what those notes are. So I'll demonstrate it with a couple different shapes here. I'm going to zoom in on the guitar neck. Okay, so I'm going to pick a G major triad and I'll show you where that is. I'm gonna put my third finger on the fifth fret of the fourth string. I'm going to put my middle finger on the fourth fret of the third string and I'm going to put my index finger, finger one, on the third fret of the second string. Okay, and we're just thinking about those three strings. That's what's called a one, three, five triad. So what does one, three, five mean? For every triad, triads are chords, but tri just means that there's three different pitches in a chord, like in a C major chord, I'm playing five strings, but there's still only three note, three different notes there. There are some repeated notes, right? So with this G major triad here, we have our root, on string four, we have our third on string three, and we have our fifth on string two. So one thing to note is for every triad, no matter what the quality, the quality being uh, whether it's major, minor, diminished, augmented, right? Um, it's all there. Every single one of those triads are going to have a root a third and a fifth, but the intervals change and that's what we're gonna look at right now. So this is a major triad, root G, third B, fifth D. It's one, three, five going from bottom to top, even though that looks opposite of what we would expect it to be uh, going towards the floor, we're getting higher in pitch. Okay, so if we want to make a G major triad or a G major chord minor, all we have to do is take the third and flat it. And all that means is lower it by a half step or lower it by one fret. So now instead of playing the fourth fret on string three, I'm gonna play the third fret on string three with a bar right here. And that's the difference between a major chord and a minor chord. All right, and you can hear that difference. Major, minor. That's the only difference. That one note drops by a half step. Okay, so that's from major to minor. Now to go from minor to diminished, we have to lower the fifth by a half step. So we keep that flatted third, and then the fifth becomes flatted as well. So now I'm gonna have a different shape here. All right, it's a little bit more extended. So I have second fret, string two, third fret, string three, fifth fret, string five, and it sounds like this. Very dissonant. So that's a diminished triad, so it's root, flatted third, flatted fifth. And then for an augmented triad, there are only four types of triads. For an augmented triad, we can go back to the major triad. Whoops, sorry. GBD. So that would be a good jumping off point for the augmented triad. All you want to do for uh, transitioning from a major triad to an augmented triad is to raise the fifth by a half step. So I have root, third, fifth, 
And now with the augmented triad, I'm going to have root third and sharp fifth or raised fifth. Very dissonant, like the diminished as well. That's why you don't hear them too often in um, in pop music. So that's fifth fret, fourth string with finger three there, and then fourth fret on the third string and fourth fret on uh, the second string as well. You can play that different ways. That's just to illustrate a point to show you how I changed it, right? So to review real quick, let me try and get squared away here. Major, flat the third for minor. Flat the fifth also for diminished. And then from for augmented, go from major. Raise the fifth. Cool sounding chords, hard to get them to fit into something that's very uh, melodic and sweet sounding, but some bands have managed to do it and I think they make pretty cool sounds. So anyways, if you have any questions as always, please leave me a message and I will get back to it. Um, visit www.atxguitarlessons.com. Send me an email if you have any questions. Uh, through the website is another option. Please subscribe and like the video, guys. And uh, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to talk about, um, covers or whatever it is. See you next time. Thanks.